Speaking of moments, this guy has had plenty in the postseason. Hey, Kevin. Yes. I love the smell. Oh, I know. <laughs> Champagne and beer. Howie Kendrick joins us right now, and Howie, congratulations to Thank you. you. Thank uh, you. Playing all these years, and you get to the mountaintop here tonight. But I just want to, since we're playing the clip of Davey, I want to ask you about that because we, we've we've talked, everyone's talked about it, you know, where you guys were, and, you know, it, organization stuck with him. And if you didn't like the manager, didn't want to play for him, you wouldn't play for him, and you want to finish 35 <laughs> games out of out of a playoff spot, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah How did definitely. you keep it together? How did you keep it together and then go on the run that you did? You know what? He uh, he always believed in us as players. You know, we didn't really have a lot of meetings. People were like, oh man, is he always having meetings and stuff? No, it's our locker room. So he relied on the veteran guys to go out every day. We just kind of took a lot of young guys. Say, hey man, it's up to us to change it. David can only do so much as a manager. So we got to trust in ourselves and know that we're putting in the work. And then our pitching just came around man you got Corbin you got Strasburg you got Scherzer you know Sanchez is not a guy that doesn't get talked about a lot but I mean our guys just really stepped up and then down the stretch Joe Ross him and Fetty they were throwing really well they were doing kind of a little tag team thing and uh, you know guys just stepped up you know when it was their, their name was called they were ready you know adding guys like Gerardo Parra you know, a lot of people are like, oh, man, they don't think of him as a big name. But his energy that he brought to the team, he brought the baby shark with him. <laughs> and, uh, you know, the fans went crazy for that. But, like, he brought an energy to our dugout that we didn't have before. You know, we started dancing when we hit the homers. And all that came when GP came. You know, and it's like a lot of us came to life, you know. And then we just relied on the guys we had. Rendon was steady. Turner at the top. Eaton's have been a bulldog, you know, his whole career. So, I mean, it's big for us to have those guys with that tone. You know, we had a lot of guys that have been around set the tone. Howie, first of all, congrats. I've always been Thank a you. big fan of, of your swing, the way you play the game, and what a, what a gentleman you've always been. I really enjoyed that, so congrats. Thank you. But two enormous home runs, probably the biggest two hits of your career, Grand Slam, Game 5, NLDS against the Dodgers versus Joe Kelly, and then tonight, only the second home run of your career of Will Harris. How good do they feel, and which one felt better? <laughs> you know what? I, I, the, definitely the one that I hit against the Dodgers, you know, because without that we're not here um, and then after that we went on a nice run after that you know we got through st louis and uh there it is <laughs> fastball in <laughs> but uh you know this one's truly special too you know be able to to change the lead right there and i think tony deserves a lot of credit too because he got it started and yeah. ended up taking grinky out and right there it's like man grinky was rolling too so did you think that ball was gonna stay fair i was trying to i was like man chick-fil-a come <laughs> through the <laughs> <down sideways. laughs> but yeah you know what i was looking at I'm like, man, stay fair, stay fair. And you know what? It just caught the pole right there. there it is. Bang. <laughs> so, you know, I was, I mean, the reporters have been asking me about that. And I'm like, man, I love Chick-fil-A. So. <laughs> <laughs> so you know that since the series, the worst series start, I find out what your nickname was. Trump. <laughs> you know who gave me that? My oh, boy, Tori. He's watching right now. Yeah, that's my I big asked, brother, man. I asked him, hey, why you call him truck? He say, papi, when you need a truck? <laughs> When he's needed. <laughs> we don't use a truck every day. Watch him. He's going to come through at some point. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. Yeah, oh yeah. I want to say what's up to my brother, man. Like, Tori, like I said, that's my big brother. And you and know it. I'll tell you, man, at a time in my career in 2009 when I got sent down to the minors, he told me, he goes, man, you're going to come back a different player. Mm. And, you know, he was just always there with some kind of advice for me. And that's why I say veteran guys are always important, man, because, you know, when you got young guys like Soto, Robles, you know, really young guys, I mean, they come to you and like, hey, man, what do you think about this? Or if they're scuffling or, you know, they want to know about situations. I mean, that's why guys, having veteran guys around is important because we've experienced it. And K-Long used to talk to me a lot about you talking to younger players in the dugout, like, oh, this guy likes to do this, that, and that. And I was like, man, you you know what, that's pretty cool because I never knew that side of you. Mm. You know, I always played against you, but he goes, hey, man, if guys wanted to know anything, they came to A-Rod. So. <laughs> How about so. we get back to that at bat? He had thrown you all kind of junk all night, Grinky. Yeah. Where you hunting that fastball. I mean, in that mind, that veteran mind of yours, this guy's been lights out. I bet you said, or did you say, he's not going to get ahead of me right here? You know what? I'm always hunting the fastball, okay. man. When I get off the fastball, I get in trouble. Okay. So, for me, that's the one pitch that can always beat you. The breaking balls, you can always adapt to, but, you know, make adjustments. But with the fastball, I mean, you get it. You got, you can't miss it. That was a heck of a swing, man. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank I just you. want to show you how, how, how you can bring joy to people. There's a bar in Washington, D.C. As your home run is being hit, I'm told. Let's go see. We, we see the video. Walter's Bar in D.C. Ready? Here's Howie. Oh, oh. Oh, there it is. It's wow. going to be a party, <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> 
Harry, I got a question. Wow. You're from a hometown in Florida yeah. with a thousand people. Yeah, Callahan, Florida. How is it going to feel to go back to the nation's capital in front of a million people for the greatest parade <laughs> in that town? <laughs> you know what? I, you know what? I wouldn't change anything about the way I grew up, man. Yeah. I grew up without a whole lot. My grandmother was the one that got me into baseball. Ruth Wood. She passed away in 06, mm -hmm. so she got to see me make it to the major leagues. I gave her my rookie jersey, mm -hmm. um, and then she passed away from cancer. God but um, she's the one that really got me into baseball and really kept me out of the neighborhood, kept me out of trouble. And, you know, in a small town, you know, a lot of my friends still live there. A lot of the people yeah. I grew up with still live there. And a lot of them got to experience this with me, and I thank them for that. Mm -hmm. And they're a big part of who I am. And I always remember that. I'll never forget that. Howie, let me ask you a question. When you find out that Churcher wasn't going to be pitching available for game five, and all of a sudden you know that he's ready for game seven, what was the attitude in the clubhouse and the attitude coming from a veteran <laughs> player like you? After what uh, Strasburg did the day before, I mean, that energy, he just fed on that energy. You know, he came out, he gave us five strong, gave us everything he had, and that's been those guys all year. You know, and it's, when you got a guy like Scherzer going, you're like, man, we, you know we got a chance. I mean, he, he gave up too early, but we never think we're out of a game until the 27th out. So, you know, at that point, we just kept battling, battling, and it just took one swing from Rendon. We, like I said, we got Grinky out, and then they brought the bullpen in. And, you know, most times when you're facing a guy like Grinky, it's like, man, you can't get much nastier. So, I mean, we go back in, and then our confidence, you know, Tony getting that home run, then Soto getting on base, me hitting the one, and then we just took off from there. So, so what's next? You going to Disney World? <laughs> <laughs> this you know, is what's next, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Papa. This is awesome, man. But yeah, I am going to go to Disney World. My little boy said for his birthday, he's born on Christmas Day. He goes, I want to spend in the Disney World. So, you deserve it. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. So, thank you. Howie, Enjoy 14 it, man. years in the game. Congra you deserve it, man. Thank Congratulations you, to you. Howie oh, Kendrick, yeah. boy, was he yeah, awesome. The big you, hit tonight, appreciate the game winning hit tonight. The two run, one run. Got the Nationals in front. Thanks, yeah, I appreciate and it. And that's why they're World Series <laughs> champs here in Houston.